on you again! The Abbey Melon Heat! Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Banzo. It's right good. So that's Banzo. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Carol, I'm going to need another topic of the letter. This has happened again. Good grief, lad! The front door is right there! We're ten stories up for crying out loud! Yet, but if you just sit there, I'll let you know when he's ready. All right, love. Fella, nice to have you around. Thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff, but more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication that I might slip free. I need something greasy to slip me out and hoo <laughs> I can never think of what to put on this. We'll be open in a minute, fellas. Council tax all paid. <laughs> Over here. Oh. I've come down for Meg and Crest pasty, oh. but Meg's in Torpen. Oh, I guess I'll starve. Closed this morning because this dolt has lost my keys, and now we've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. What am I like? Colin, you are the most work shy fop I've ever had the misfortune to employ. Ooh, oh, no. oh, oh, no, oh, dear. Oh. Close today, the problem with chicken. Oh, ah, he do. Somewhere. Just the man I need. Oh, no. The mayor's asked me to clean up this little rose garden. 
You can start by getting on that mower. Don't be shy, lad. Give that lawn mower the old grab and squeeze. Just like in the day. That is a fine stamen. My wife could learn a thing or two. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I tell you, Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> No breakfast for me. Oh. Typical. I never get my way. Ah, somewhere. How do you do, young man? Almost done, and then I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. No chance of any of them round here, though. Oh, oh, oh. I do love my more wife. You and your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I must be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. How about a cobbler's pint, eh? Hey? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint, but I think both my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few bottles about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. While you're down there, lad, give those battles a shake-up, won't you? Nothing like a nice wet pint to start the day. Every morning I wake up, can of lager, then I do a big wee, then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. Ah, Larry, you were just talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. 
Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's bore you a pint and all. On the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. Gets that tuppence. Oh dear. Ah. Thanks for fetching that, Ronnie lad. I'd offer you a pasty, but we've now cooked yet. Help yourself to our front back, though. Stalin! What on earth are you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the mercury again. Give me strength. Oh, you found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, uh, no, I just... I'm actually the town vole, if you catch my meaning. this about then? Oh, hey. <gasps> Will you be here? Crikey, look at the size of this lad's Mara. And he's got a huge cut. Are you here to give me a hand with the tatties? Poor cow. Chippies usually perk her up though. Oh, my big butt. Oh, great job. Well, what are you wearing? Peas. Not quite peas, not quite beans, but something special in between. 